I've lived a life uh, that's been somewhat extraordinary, and I don't mean that in any braggadocious way. Uh, for 48 years, I've worked for three major corporations, and in every case, I was the first African American in every job I've ever had in 48 years. And my wife of 42 years said, you don't dare leave this earth without telling this story because there's a lot of uniqueness in this story. So she pushed me and pushed me and I moved to write this book, My American Success Story. Always the first, never the last. And that's not meant as anything braggadocious, but I think that when you're the first, you have an obligation and a responsibility to teach. You have to teach to organizations and institutions that you're like the rest of your people. And there are a lot of people who can make a difference in your organizations. And so, wrote this book. It's about how I grew up from poverty, absolute poverty. Uh, mother died when I was two and a half. My father raised 10 kids. I've eaten off of a dump in my life. Fell in love with education along the way. Went to uh, the university, commuted 120 miles a day to college round trip, raised a family. Later, uh, worked for, uh, went to work at school at Harvard. Went to school at MBA in Switzerland. I'll be 11 honorary PhDs today. And I was executive vice president of General Motors. But it tells the route that I had to take to get here. And what I find is all of us want the reward, but not many people are willing to take the journey. We've got to be willing to take the journey. And I think the book, uh, is a, there are a lot of stories in here for a lot of people, especially a lot of young people or people getting started in business or people in life. And that's why we wrote the book. It's doing well on Amazon. And uh, we hope that uh, people will continue to take some of the wisdom that we have in this. And I talk about people who, uh, when I headed up uh, personnel and had 950,000 employees around the world, uh, what that really meant. And when I signed Tiger Woods for 30 million to represent Buick, uh, a lot of exciting times when I became president of the Boy Scouts of America, when I went on the board of United Negro College Fund for years and chaired two of the annual meetings, uh, when I was on the board of uh, several corporations, Abbott Laboratories, Burlington Northern, uh, so it, it's been a storied life that I want to share with this country, with my people and other people. It's not a black story, it's not a white story, it's an American story, and I hope you get a chance to avail yourself of it.